Now, as many of you already know that Neo in April sold 15,620. It is very interesting to see the kind of vehicles that Neo sold per model on that number because it tells us how the, the, the models are doing or how Neo is doing per model. Now, we finally got the, to see the performance per model and I must say it is quite interesting to see. Yeah, but without wasting any more of your time, the first model that it did very well was, of course, the Neo ES6, which is not surprising because it, for the uh, April deliveries, it scooped over 5,500 deliveries, which is something that is pretty interesting or pretty amazing. But this is the vehicle or the model that, ladies and gents, uh, sometime back in July of uh, 2023, we saw it having or receiving over 10,000 deliveries on a month or for that month of which to see it having over 5,500 I suppose it's still a, a pretty good solid number now the second uh, model that did pretty well ladies and gents it's of course the Neo ET5 Touring now the Touring you will know that it has been scooping the numbers it has been the one getting most of the numbers and uh, this might be uh, because ladies and gents it is the cheapest it's one of the cheapest models that you can buy from neo which is something that is pretty exciting so it got 4000 or over 4400 which is something that again it is pretty exciting to see the et5 touring doing this well especially knowing that this model when neo um, launched this model they were launching it primarily for uh, for Europe and to see it doing well this well in China makes me to be really uh, excited now the third best-selling model for April was of course the ET5 uh, mid sedan which of course came in with just over 2200 vehicles followed by the EC6 over 2200 which is something that of course they almost uh, had the similar of course sort of like numbers now the fifth selling uh, model ladies and gents is of course the es8 uh, with 773 units for the month followed by the ec7 with 203 units for the month now this just shows that the big uh, models or the big suvs are not doing that well in terms of sale or did not do that well in terms of sale but we are seeing rather people going for the cheaper version or the cheaper models which is something that of course uh, it's quite interesting now the last two models there is the ET7 and the ES7 ET7 sold 93 uh, vehicles for the month the whilst of course ES7 sold 48 vehicles for the month but with the ET7 you will know that uh, the 2024 ET7 with the upgrade started selling around uh, 30th of April which of course the numbers for that model to be specific uh, they won't be that well because they started selling like exactly at end of the month which we just have to see now in May how well will Neo do with this model but I must say this is one of the models that Neo has really upgraded so well and hopefully it gets the deliveries it gets the sales that it deserves. This is the, one of the most expensive models that you can buy from Neo. I think they start uh, ET7 starts around 428,000 RMB, which it's not the most expensive, but the I think is the second most expensive, right? Which is something that is pretty exciting, right? I think, uh, yeah, we are we are definitely going to see some better sales coming from the ET7 because of the upgrades that we have been, we have seen i think uh, it is with no doubt or it comes with no doubt that the et7 is the most uh, upgraded neo model for 2024 i mean it has got the executive edition which ladies and gents the seats the extra screens or additional screens this is just so amazing and it makes me to be excited of the kind of sales we could see come because of the upgrade that neo introduced on to this model so yeah man i look forward um to 
the sales that we are going to get or that neo will scoop because of this uh, model now in may uh, and i just hope they do really well but otherwise from this list all we can see is that the cheapest models are the ones that are scooping some good sales i mean cheapest suv neo suv which is the es6 we saw it scooping over 5000 of course the sales whereas the et5 touring uh, which is the oh, the cheapest model i think so, the et5 and the et5 touring uh, they're the cheapest models so we saw the 85 touring scooping or coming in with more more sales which is something that is pretty exciting 4400 i think we are getting to see the neo es6 to really work very hard for their sales because it looks like it's coming it's pushing it's pushing and it's coming to make sure that they get as many sales as possible who knows we might see them in the couple next couple of months being at the top or be becoming the best seller of Neo, which that has been with the ES6 for the longest time. So yeah, man, hoping for the best and hope that things get better and sales continue increase and the NAV insurance registrations, where we saw Neo coming with 4,400 sales, which from the 1st to the 12th, they had 5,600, which shows us that Neo still got some work to do, but obviously, hopefully, we get them to beat the kind of deliveries or the 15,620 deliveries they reported in April. Otherwise, with all that, guys, I just thought I'd just give you this quick update. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And once you subscribe, don't forget to hit or click. That notification bell so that at least you get notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content. Otherwise, guys, that's all from me. And I'm better. I'm back. Uh, I had flu. I, I was not feeling well. But I'm much better and I'm back. And I'll be giving you those YouTube videos uh, whenever we get the updates, the latest news uh, coming from our favorite EV news. Otherwise, that's all from me. And God bless you all.